Hello, creators. I was asked to make a short video on making edits, specifically ripple deletes, cutting, silencing, uh, the different ways to do that type of thing. So I am here. I am going to choose multi-track because I always choose multi-track. I'm going to call this cut up. And I'm going to put it in downloads. And I'm going to choose 44100. Four, zero, zero. We know why now. And I'm going to choose 16 bit, bit depth. And I think I'll make this mono and say OK. OK, so now I've got all my tracks here. And I'm going to dump in uh, two tracks of dialogue from a client of mine. And I'm over on my other screen. You can't see it, but I'm dumping in some audio there. It's asking me, do, do you want to <clears throat> re-encode it? And I'm saying, yep. This was a Zoom recording, by the way, and it came in as an MP4, if you're interested. Uh, MP4 file uh, is what Zoom usually kicks out. So it is converting this file to match the 44100 uh, kilohertz and the 16-bit depth. And there's a little bit of audio there. You know what I do? Um... When I ask you... Okay, that's Carrie. She's the host. And now I'm going to pull in from my finder, the guest. Same thing. I'm going to say okay. And for the purposes of today's um, tutorial, I'm not going to compress and I'm not going to do any limiting. I'm just going to show you how to make some very simple but effective edits how to remove sections, how to silence sections. But we'll start with removing. As soon as this file converts and loads, we will get underway. I don't Do you know. care if I re record and keep record. it on my computer? Because I might, OK, I think I, I want to maybe take some clips of it. You know what I do? OK, so they're chit-chatting. The interview has not officially started yet. And they're just coming on together, starting to talk about usually the guest will ask some questions what are you going to ask me and all I that kind really of stuff I just really care about the work um, so let's see if we can find the beginning of the oops I just right. by accident made a uh, keyframe there and I'm going to undo that by hitting command Z okay. I don't have my all right. my other camera pointing down at my keyboard to show you my sheep keyboard shortcuts so I'm going to have to explain them to you I'm Carrie Brett and this is Shot at Love okay that's where it starts I'm Carrie Brett and this is Shot at Love so First of all, what do I do with this front end here that's all chit chat? Well, there's one thing quickly I could do is use the uh, move tool and grab both. I'm grab, I'm, um, I'm selecting both tracks. And then when the cursor turns into this red bar with the arrow, I can drag them both there. So now I have a clean beginning. I'm Carrie Brett, and this is Shot at Love. Well so, you know, I'm going to have to move those back, of course, to the, near the beginning because I'm going to pull a music bed in here and things like that. Uh, but anyway, that's one way of doing it. I'm going to Command Z and undo both of those things. Command Z, Command Z. I'm right back to where I was. That's what's great about multi-track editing. It's non-destructive. You can go back in time. It's a time machine. Now, what I could also do here is let me pick up my time selection tool uh, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit using my plus key, my plus key. And I could just grab all this and hit, um, oops, and hit um, what's known as a ripple delete. And you will find ripple delete up. Let's see, where will you find ripple delete? I never go up here for it. Yeah, it's an edit, ripple delete. And in this particular instance, I've selected some time in the clip, and that's what we would choose. We would choose uh, time. Oh, and I, oh, by the way, <clears throat> I want both tracks. So we have, to, we have to choose time selection in all tracks, which is shift, command, delete. You can see the little shortcut right there. So I'm just going to click here to do it. Now I've done it. You kind of may have seen it. 
I'm Carrie Brett. Okay, but there it is that we're at the very beginning and that stuff is gone. I'm going to undo that now by using Command Z on a Mac. And to show you uh, a different way of going up to edit, oops, edit and choosing ripple delete and then choosing time selection in all tracks. I'm going to use this keyboard shortcut, which is shift command delete. So, all right, I'll go back over here and uh, I am on the keyboard now. Shift, Command, Delete. Boom. So everything slams to the left. Everything moves to the left. I've got a nice clean uh, cut. Um, I've removed audio from both tracks. Both tracks are still in sync. Nice. I like it that way. Um, there's another way. There's yet another way. Uh, Command Z to undo that. What if, okay, this is the spot. This is where she starts. What if I go up here and select the blade tool? razor blade tool and I think if I get right here I get both do I get both okay well I just I just made two cuts there let's see what I ended up with yeah you can see there's two cuts right there so now I have I, I have split these tracks into clips now so this is a clip that's a clip because there's a cut here and then this is a clip and this is a clip now I could just delete this one by hitting the delete but I didn't get this one. I'll have to do that one oh, the same way. Now let's undo both of those things by hitting Command Z. What if I just grab both of those clips and hit delete? Got it. Okay. And then, of course, I've got to move this back to where I want it. Okay. So there's three quick ways to do deletes. Now, you have to keep in mind that uh, when Carrie introduces her guest, uh, and it looks like this is where the guest says hello. This looks like the introduction and the hello to me. Emotional intelligence, overall happiness, and personal healing. It is my honor to welcome Christina Morelli to the show today. So without further ado, welcome, Christina. Thank you so much for having me, Carrie. I really appreciate it. I'm so excited to have you. So there's, a, there's just a tiny bit of a gap there. And this is a good example. I'm going to zoom in here. Now, I might want to make that pause just a little bit less, just shave off a little time there. But beware, if I'm over here where she's still introducing herself and I do a ripple delete now, I'm going to lose the tail end of what she says. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. So that's something to think about. If you only want to make a cut on the top track, and you don't want to make a cut on the bottom track, you can do that. Um, you can actually, now that I've got this selected, I hit the delete. Oh, I got both of them there. Didn't No, no, I didn't. Okay, there it is. So what I've done here is I hit the delete key with that selection highlighted. And because, I'm going to undo that just for a second, because this track over here was, was the one that's highlighted, the track gets cut out and the remaining clip to the right doesn't slam to the left. Watch. I just create a gap and the gap is only in the top. So if I now here's here's something you have to be aware of. If I now move this with my move tool this way, I didn't do anything to the bottom track. So they're going to be out of sync. So, you know, You'll hear Callie and I bicker over workflow, and she does this. She she will do this, and she'll leave big gaps in there, and it's fine because that's her workflow. I don't like these gaps, and I don't like having a bunch of them because I'm afraid that I'm going to in uh, inadvertently move a track that I really don't want to. So I tend to do the ripple delete and get both tracks. And then if I don't want uh, something removed from both tracks, but I want it gone from one track, I will silence that section. So let's find a place that I can now silence. So excited to have you. You're so bright and so knowledgeable about what makes a relationship work. So today we're going to talk about all things relationships. I'd love to know first, what inspired you to become a relationship coach? 
One, I like to think that it was kind of my... Okay, well, first of all, this whole thing, she, she pauses too long before she answers for my taste, so I'm going to ripple delete that. a relationship coach. One, I like to think that it was kind of my born innate mission. Let's find a place where they're talking over one another. That's probably going to uh, be a good spot to find uh, an area where I just want to silence something. Oh, she answers that question for a long time. Work dedication. Well, you can tell you're definitely dedicated to it. <laughs> And you try to... I don't mind that. <laughs> you try to learn this so that you could avoid pain. Mm -hmm. And I like what you... I don't like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You tried to learn this so that you could avoid pain. Mm -hmm. And I like what you said where you said... So I'm going to deal with that. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to do a ripple delete because I'm going to take out what Carrie's saying up, a to up the top here. So what I want to do is silence this. Now you notice I've got this track is highlighted. And now, on my keyboard, if I hit the key Z, I automatically and drop the volume to, with the yellow volume you bar. You tried to learn this so that you could avoid pain. And I like what you said where you... Okay, well, I don't like what you said. There's some kind of blemish there, too, so I think I'll do the same thing to, there. I could have cut you that. You tried to learn this so that you could avoid pain. I like what you said where you said, there has to be another way. Like, we shouldn't have to just... Oh, there's another mm -hmm there. And okay, so I'm hitting a keyboard shortcut Z. It's not set up on on your audition. And it's done in this area. Let's see. Let me go to help and I'll find it quicker. So keyboard shortcuts. So when you go to keyboard shortcuts, you can then go in here and find the function and assign a shortcut to it. So let's see, effects clip, is it clip? I think it's clip. I haven't done this in such a long time. Silence time selection in selected clip Z. I, I created that shortcut by putting a value in here. This is changeable here. I could change that to A. I could I could make it any custom keyboard I um, key I want to create the silence. I'll show you how to create the sli silence out of the menu items, but I wanted you to see this. But I also, uh, unfortunately, I'm, I'm going to tell you that if you do this on an iMac and at the university, because the machines get wiped, that's not going to stick. That's not going to be sticky. You'll have to come back in here every time you open Audition. I don't. That's That shortcut is there for me in perpetuity until I tell it not to be there anymore. So I'll just say OK. But uh, let's undo this last silence here. And you see the, the volume bar just dropped. I mean, I could, first of all, I could create my own silence there by creating four points and dropping it right there. But with one stroke of the key, I can create that just because I have it highlighted. So that's the other way to do that. I'm undoing that and I'm going to undo. OK, I undid all of that. Now, if I want to use the drop down menu, I have this highlighted. This is lit up, so that's definitely on this track. And I go to clip, silence, time selection, and selected clips. I'm going to click here. Now notice, because I've created a keyboard shortcut for the key Z, it is now showing there. Um, when you don't see anything there, you have to go set it up. So I'm just going to click here. Boom, and I got I like it. what you said where you said... There has to be another way. Like, we shouldn't have to just have all these. Okay, so basic edits. Um, bunch of different ways to do it. There's a bunch of different workflows. This happens to be my preferred workflow. It may not end up being yours, but I want you to uh, experiment. I want you to get in there and see if there's any other way uh, and uh, be glad to... to um, have you show me what you come up with too, because everybody should have a different workflow. It shouldn't all be cookie cutter. Um, as I said before, Callie is blinding fast at her edits 
and she just has this she developed a workflow that works for her um, and she goes into uh, waveform editor quite a bit i tend to stay out of there i don't like waveform editor and um, so i hope this helps i will see you all in class peace